guys, Macman here. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make a package file, a package installer, or a um, meta package. Yeah, because you can package things. It's, it's amazing because they make packages and you can unpackage them and get files out of them. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. So, I'm just going to start by making a quick little file again in text out here saying hello. This time it's going to have two. Double special. Wow. So, just to make a little file for it. So, um, make it packagey file. Save that to desktop. There. Okay. So, you can download Package Maker. It will be in the description of the download. And then, once you get this, just run it. Then you'll get this. More like that. Okay. Install properties. This is in install this is um to do with your file. So you're gonna do your company or whatever, so org dot or com dot or blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm gonna it doesn't it's not a website, it's just like what your company is. So I'm gonna do com dot macman and then minimum target. This is the minimum version that it will be compatible with. And I'm just gonna leave it on the default tiger. And then click OK. And now you're going to get this. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to drag in this file into here, where it says drop contents here. I mean, come on. This should make it more difficult than that, but I guess it just makes it easier. OK. <clears throat> you're going to have this in package your file and then the oh, item itself. Now we're going to go on this and click configuration up here. We're going to have like the install place for it, and where it's going to install the file. So like this is where it's going to get off the computer, then the destination. <clears throat> so I'm going to make it destination on my desktop. <clears throat> okay, and then this allows <clears throat> custom locations so you can choose yourself. I don't want them to allow that. Require admin authentication. If this file is being located to put in like, um a locked system file or library file or anywhere that's locked basically on the computer you'll have to have this enabled otherwise it won't be able to install but because <clears throat> this is just putting it on my desktop that's not a locked folder so I can just take that off so it doesn't have to bother asking for the password <clears throat> package identifier just leave that how it is package version 1.0 <clears throat> you can have um where you want the thing but I just leave it on inter internal Okay, now we're going to go up to this bit here where it says at the top the package. I'm going to go to configuration and call it a name. I'm going to call it packagey. That's what I'm going to call it. Packagey. No. There we go. It's beautiful. Okay, user sees. You can do custom and easy install. I'm just going to leave it on easy install only. <coughs> System volume or user home directory. I'm going to do um users um home directory. So um, direct. So it'll be from the user users home description of it. Don't worry, it'll just be um. Hello. Okay. Now we're going to have to edit how the installer works. So we're going to go edit interface up here or down there. Same place. I'm going to edit. That now this is what it'll be to set it up. <clears throat> okay, the background you can choose a file as the background image. <coughs> so if I go in here, no, I don't know, tube images. Um, this one. <coughs> okay. No, it's not big enough. Don't worry. Um, actually. Yeah, so you can make your background image on have or have default. Um, to fit, a bit squished, and yeah, but it's nice color. I mean, yeah, proportional. I don't know. <clears throat> no, it's just yeah. You won't be able to see that later. But okay, so that's gonna be a beautiful background. Now click. I'm gonna click continue. Okay. The welcome panel, the welcome, where it's just going to welcome. Okay, this is where it's going to 
have a text so you can do an embedded and write it yourself like welcome to the hello installer okay or you can do a text file or RFT or whatever continue okay the readme panel so like in I'll just do read me. Oh, no. I am a tutorial. Okay, continue. <coughs> the license panel where I told you license. <coughs> this video is my prop. Prop. Oh God, I can't even spell property. I'm I'm dumb. Property. This video is my property. Continue. Okay, now the conclusion. So it's been installed. Okay. So, wow. Success! Yay! Okay, there we go. <coughs> now I've done it. Now we can just quit that. <coughs> now we've done. Now I've completed that. We're just gonna build. Just so click the build button up here, <coughs> and you're gonna save as to desktop. And then the name. Okay. It's gonna build it. There it is. Packagey. It saves it as a meta package. No, I don't want to build it again. See it saves it as a as a meta package. But still, it's beautiful. Okay. Let's get rid of this one. Now let's run it. See? <laughs> Welcome to the hello installer, like the first page. Okay. For some reason that's all white, which is stupid, but still. <coughs> okay, continue. I am a tutorial. Yay! Continue. This video is my property. License, continue. Accept. I agree. How do you want to install it? Yeah, install from here. Continue. Install. So it's on my desktop. <gasps> there it is! Yay! Let's read it. Hello. Yay, it works. Okay, so that's how to make a package file with Package Maker. You can download it in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hope this helps. And yeah, helps. Wow, wow. Okay. Macman out.